On today's video, we're back in the shop and we're going to unbox this bad boy, the Bauer Orbital Jigsaw. This is the Old Guy Network. Yep. Hey, welcome back to the Old Guy Network. I'm the Old Guy. And today we're going to have an unboxing. Yeah, this bad boy right here, this is a Bauer orbital jigsaw the difference between the jigsaw i have now and the orbital jigsaw is the one i have now the blade just goes up and down and sometimes the blade will shift and go side to side and that's no good but with the orbital it actually moves in an orbit and stays straighter and hopefully will be exactly what i want uh, i have to cut circles in wood every once in a while and the jigsaw i have now just isn't <laughs> it isn't cutting it <laughs> so Let's take a look at this thing and uh, we'll see see how we do. So the first thing we've got to do is, well, get it out of the box. And look at that. I'm going to need a knife or a sharp object. And look, I happen to have a screwdriver, so that should work out pretty well. Ooh, look at that. There it is, my Bauer Orbital Jigsaw. And we've got some other stuff here in the box. We've got this thing here. I imagine this is for, yep, this is for the exhaust port. So you can hook a small uh, vacuum line on that, a vacuum hose on that, and suck up all the sawdust. That's, that's pretty nice. I'm not going to, I'll just leave that on there. It doesn't do any harm to leave that on there. Uh, just looking at this, let me let me give you something to compare to. This is my old jigsaw, and it doesn't orbit. Like I said before, it just goes up and down, and the blade will move side to side when it does, and you can't get a nice straight cut with it. It's worked all right, but it's about 20 years old, and it was time to get a new one. Now, I was planning on getting a battery powered one but I really didn't want to spend the extra money for it I figured I'm only using this in the shed so there's no problem with me uh, plugging this in somewhere so I went with a corded one now one nice feature on this that I really like is this little rip fence that you put on here right through there and if you want to cut something on an edge or follow an edge you just tighten those down Yeah, that's good enough. And just run this edge here. Like, if we were cutting this, and then you can make a nice straight cut. So that's kind of nice to have that. My other one did not have that. So we'll open that up. We'll put that back in the box. And let's plug both of those in, and I'll show you the limitations that I have with the old one, and hopefully the new stuff that I can do with this one. This is the old skill uh, brand saw that I have. It's a decent jigsaw. It does okay, but as I mentioned before, it does move. The blade does move a little bit, and it doesn't make really nice uniform cuts. And as you can also see, it, it just goes up and down, and that's it. There's no guide with it. There's no little rip fence with it. Um, the way you would guide this is you look right there, but this thing's not completely in center so making a straight cut is a little difficult with it I've used it for a while the only thing I really like about it is on the back there's a place to put your blades and that's kind of nice actually let's take out a blade um, changing the blades on this one was pretty nice you just pull it and it pops right out now let's see what it's like to change a blade on the other one Now the first thing we have to do is get this in frame is we lift up this right here and there's a little switch you can see it boy this is difficult you just pull that and drop the blade in the hole that's supposed to be what you do 
and let's see what we got so I've already done that I'll pull that out and we'll drop this down inside there make sure the blade is running on the little guide right there and it works now when you're using this let's uh, we're gonna pretend this is the surface we're gonna cut we're not gonna cut anything right now but there is this little button here we go this little button right here on the front give that a little push and you can see there is a laser guide right there so you know exactly where you're cutting that's pretty cool I do like that that's that's not bad um, it's about the same weight as the other one might be a little bit heavier this one might be a little bit heavier than the other one but uh, it certainly is comfortable and it's got the power switches right under the handle and this switch here is the lock so that locks it in so you don't have to hold on to the button and the speed control is right here so I like that variable speed right there one one touch and every, all the controls are right there except for this control here and this one right here what do you think these do well I'm gonna tell you so what this does is it gives you the orientation of the blade if you leave it here on zero just leave it right there then the blade just travels up and down doesn't orbit if you want it to orbit you either go to one two or three and the larger the number, the more, uh, uh, the bigger the orbit for the blade. So if you want to do a nice straight cut, we could put it on one. And you can see, we'll slow that down a little bit maybe. I don't know. And what this switch does, that uh, opens and closes the dust blower. So if you want the dust to go out through this exhaust port, push it all the way back. And you can hook up a small vacuum to this, and it, it'll work pretty well. Uh, if you want to close it off and just have the sawdust drop from the blade, you just do that. That's it. That's all of the settings on there. So let's, uh, let's cut some stuff. I've got a pallet that we can just hack up a little bit with this thing. My friend Richard just stopped by a little while ago and he gave me this nice little pallet that he found on the side of the road. Thought I could use it. And you know what? He was right. Uh, first thing we're going to do is put a different blade in here. I got five blades from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight? No. Harbor Freight. And they're just little jigsaw blades. There's five of them on here. Uh, four different wood blades and one metal blade. And they were $5.99, which I thought was a pretty good price. So let's go ahead and I'm going to drop in this blade right here and what I'm finding out is make sure you go all the way down with it and when you snap it closed give it a little tug make sure that the blades in there solid so let's do a straight cut we can turn on our little light oh that's pretty good Oh, the wood broke before I could cut through. Here, let's get, get that in frame. But this is hardwood. Uh, this is actually, I'm not sure what this is, but it is hardwood. And can we get this in frame? Boy, I'm having a rough time. So it made a nice cut. Of course, it's off. I didn't mark it. I just wanted to do kind of a straight cut. Now we're going to uh, set this on orbit. Um, let's put it on the first one. And we'll do like a little little scroll cut. And this one's going in a piece of oak.
Well, this is what I wanted to get. I wanted to get a nice cut, and look how straight that is. The blade does not go side to side, or not much anyway, so that's pretty good. Uh, the blade that I have on here is kind of a rough blade. Um, let's put on a finer blade and see if it does any better. So again, we just open up the little plastic piece here. That pops out, pull it right out. This should give us a nice, clean cut. And again, we're going to just put that right inside here. Open up the collet. Push it in all the way. There we go. Close that back on. And let's do another one here. We've got this piece here. As you can see, I did not get that in all the way. Wow. It's hard to hold this in view of the camera and try to get this on here correctly. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And now we're all set. Now that's a lot cleaner cut, a much nicer blade, and as you can see, it's pretty straight. So this would do much better if I was cutting out a six inch hole for cornhole boards or making any radius cut. Um, the old jigsaw that I had, because it only went up and down, it just didn't make a nice straight cut. This does. So that's pretty cool. I'm really happy with that. I'm not really sure what the difference between the three orbits are, so we just did that. Now I'm going to change that to two and see if there's a difference. It went through it a lot faster. All right. Now I'm going to change this to three, and we'll do this part. It seems to have a little bit more tear out the higher you go because you've got more of an orbit. So I'm just going to play around with that for a little while because I've never used an orbital jigsaw before. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a pretty simple concept. It orbits or it doesn't orbit, whatever you want. The guide on this one, it's just, it floats. It has too much play on it. That's why it didn't work as well. This one, there is no play there whatsoever. That's just the shaft, but the guide itself, it doesn't play. So, that's pretty good. I like it. It's got nice padding on the, uh, on the handle, which the other one did not. This is what I've been using. And now that I compare them both, this one is heavier. This one is a lot heavier. This is lighter. And I do like it. It's And it feels better. Um, this is made of steel, and then it has a plastic coating over it. This one is just all steel, but it's, uh, it's not built as well as this one. And this one, of course, has the guide on it, which I really like. Even though I've already lost one of the wing nuts on here. Let's change that over. There we go. Now this is something I couldn't do with mine. You can actually adjust this. Look at this. This is the other thing I did not know. But this actually, you can, you can adjust the angle on it. And you do that right here. You get that to the angle you want if you want it. That's at five degrees right there, right around there. So you can angle this off and you can do some nice cuts. That's pretty good. I didn't know that had that on there. I just happened to look at it. Hey, yeah, I've never used this before, so you guys are seeing what I see for the very first time, too. Uh, that's pretty good. 
and there is a little guide on here. Uh, there's little teeth. You can't really see them in the video, but there's a little little teeth on there. You can slide this in so you can get a nice 90 degree cut. That's good right there. And then you just lock that in place. I didn't know this could do that. And that's really nice. This one will not do that. This one is just flat. It does not bevel at all. So, yeah, the skill saw has done me well in the uh, in the past, but it's time for this one, and I love Bauer tools. This is my third Bauer tool. I'm a big fan. Um, when I went to Home Depot, I mean, uh, I didn't go to Home Depot. I went to uh, Harbor Freight. They had their three brands, of course, the uh, Chicago Electric, which I don't even look at anymore. Then they have the Bauer and then the Hercules. And the Hercules is supposed to be a step up. It's a little bit more expensive, but I noticed some of the Hercules tools are the exact same price as some of the Bauer. And when I actually took a look at the Bauer, now that I'm using this, um, I kind of like the Bauer better. So maybe we'll get a Hercules tool next time just to uh, compare to this. But so far, this is pretty good. So. We'll do what I always say, test of time, right? That's the only test that matters. So in a few months, maybe a year, I'll go back and we'll take another look at this because I'm going to use the hell out of this thing. So that's uh, that's pretty good. The Bauer Orbital Jigsaw. And in case you're, you're confused and you're an old fellow like me, when I was a kid, we didn't call this a jigsaw. We called this a saber saw. But now they call it a jigsaw, so that's what I'm going to call it. I like it. I think it's uh, well worth the money. And what I paid for this one was $59.98. So just shy of 60 bucks. Plus, I did get the uh, blades. I think I said they were $5.99. They weren't. They were $4.99 for the blades. So I thought that was pretty good. You get five of them. And there's a good variety there. So that's pretty good. So the total with uh, tax and everything, uh, because we pay tax here in the great state of Maine, $63.27. And for what you get for the saw... I think that's well worth it. So we'll uh, take a look at it. We'll uh, keep using it, rather. And uh, we'll take another look at it, probably in six months or so, and we'll see uh, see how it holds up. But uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. I never did demonstrate the uh, variable speed while cutting, but I'll save something for you to do on your own if you get one of these saws. So that's going to do it. That's the Bauer Orbital jigsaw and uh, blades and uh, I'm a big fan I think it's great and I'm glad that you joined me here in the trailer hood for the old guy network I'm Jay I'm the old guy and I'm out